And a shaman, he receives his enlightenment by going off into the forest by himself to be completely alone. A shaman is a man, in other words, who has undergone solitariness. He's gone away into the forest to find out who he really is because it's very difficult to find that out while you're with other people. And the reason is that other people are busy all the time telling you who you are in many, many ways. By the laws they impose on you, by the behavior ruts they set on you, by the things they tell you, by the fact that they always call you by your name, and by the fact that when you live among people you have to be in a state of ceaseless chatter. But if you want to find out who you are before your father and mother conceived you, who you really are, you almost have to go off by yourself. Go into the forest and stop talking, even stop thinking words, and be absolutely alone. Listen to the great silences. And then, if you're lucky, you recover from the illusion that you're just little me, the so-and-so, and you attain the state of nirvana, which means the blown-out state, the relieved state, the sigh of relief. Nirvana may be translated into English as, phew, I've at last discovered that I don't have to survive. I can survive, of course, but I don't really have to. Because you discover, you see, that what you really are doesn't have to survive. Because it's what there is. The real you is it, or that, tat tvam asi, that art thou, as the Hindus say.